Got a little story for you guys. Not really much of a story, but something I want to talk about. First, I'd like to, I guess, give a semi shout out to one of those girls who power lift an Instagram account. I am a big fan of anyone trying to spread positivity, male, female, etc. Try to push uh, barbells into more people's hands because I think it's a good mental and physical journey for many people. That being said, might be about a year ago now, or more so, maybe two years ago, Silent Mike, myself, on Instagram, began the hashtag peach emoji gang. And I'm almost 98% certain I was the first person to ever do that. I searched the hashtag and there was none, no posts. There was like one post by a random person, maybe even no post, none. No one did it. And then I began to do it. I began to post hashtag peach emoji gang on my deadlifts, my squats, my hip circle movements, all my buildups, uh, all my accessories, all my warm ups. And then I want to say six, eight months, maybe a year later, again, we're going two years back. So now we're about a year back. They came out with some clothing uh, with a peach gang written on it. They started using the hashtag you know, with myself first and then them, it's spread. They have clothing that says Peach Gang. Um, and I want the Peach Gang just to realize and recognize that I am the Peach Gang leader, that I started the Peach Gang. Uh, I'm not much into gangs, but if there is a gang, I am the Peach Gang. For some reason, they never gave me credit for that. I don't want uh, uh, monetary credit. I just want credit. That I am the Peach Gang leader, that I started Peach Gang. There's many things in this industry uh, that here at Super Training, Mark Bell's PowerCast, we've been doing before others. The White Monster, I feel like we origi the originators of the White Monster. We're talking three and a half years ago, we started talking about the White Monster on the podcast and on the YouTubes. And then now everybody drinks White Monster. But give credit where credit is due is all I'm saying. I don't want monetary gain. I just want to be recognized. Peach Gang leader, White Monster leader, we started that shit. Talking about the Peach Gang, taking you guys through a little bit of my uh, glute activation warm up. I still get tons of questions on how to activate the glutes um, and what activating the glutes is. Basically, for me, it's a, a mental cue and connection from my head to my 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 rear end on how to uh, kind of get them fired. Often, when we sit all day, which I am sitting, writing emails, etc., as many of you are sitting at a desk, classroom. Uh, they gotta get turned off because of poor posture uh, and in this position that we sit in uh, in modern day society. So um, doing a lot of these exercises, the hip circle walks, forward, backwards, sidewards. Um, also the, the glute hip thrust. I like to add the, the hip circle as well because the glutes um, have hip extension, pushing our hips forward and back, as well as external rotation, so forcing our knees out. Those are the two uh, main movements that our glutes do. There's plenty more. The glutes are a very powerful uh, muscle. Control the hip in many ranges, but those are two main ones. So I, you can train both of those by the, the glute uh, hip thrust with the hip circle on, as well as the good morning with a band around my neck and the hip circle on. Uh, then I proceeded to squat, obviously, and deadlift, which are two um, movements that hit the glutes quite well, the conventional deadlift and the squat. Why do I activate my glutes? Why should you activate your glutes? Now, not everybody may need to. Um, but warming up in general is a good idea. Get a little bit of blood flow going. And those three exercises done in a superset, three rounds, typically uh, 10 to 20 reps for me, uh, really gets it done. It's lightweight. It doesn't burn a lot of calories or energy. It won't take away from my squat or deadlift session, um, but helps me get ready and primed to lift the most amount of weight in the proper uh, manner. Uh, another question that I get a lot, that's one, is you know the anterior pelvic tilt deal. I showed you guys a, a different video if you want to check in the past a little bit about how to fix it, but the main issue of the anterior pelvic tilt is that our hip flexors, because we're sitting in this position so long, uh, shorten, uh, and it pulls our pelvis in this direction. So our pelvis is tilted backwards, so you kind of have that stripper butt sticking out, a, a rounded low back and overextended low back all the time. Uh, when we're lifting weights, we don't want ex hyperextension uh, that way or flexion the other way, right? right? So we don't want a curved back or, or a flexed back um, in either direction. So we want a stacked back straight line, and that's how we breathe and brace. Uh, so warming up the glutes, uh, getting more glute activation, stronger glutes will help. Obviously, stretching the hips, 
Um, stretching the quad even sometimes because the quad, depending on the muscle, quad, there's four of those bitches, uh, is a hip flexor as well. Um, hip flexor is a term, right? We flex the hip, we pull the knee up uh, kind of. So when you're talking about a hip flexor, it's not just one pinpoint. So something like the couch stretch, I always refer to mobility wad. You can search it right here on YouTube above. Mobility wad, hip flexor stretch. He'll give you a bunch of uh, different exercises to do that maybe you can do in your off day or after training. But for me, strengthening my glutes and then strengthening my abs. Because uh, what happens is those abs will get stretched because again, that pelvis is getting tilted. So my hamstrings are in a stretch position. They feel tight, but stretching them won't help because the cause is that shortened hip flexor pulling that pelvis forward, a lot of tightness in the erectors and low back, and then often those will take over and be the prominent mover in some of our lifts, and that's not what we want. We want those to be in synchronization with our abs, with our hamstrings, with our glutes to both squat and deadlift. So that's kind of the goal of activating the glutes. Another thing I do after our workout is, is actual uh, exercises to really, really strengthen the glutes. So I don't wanna do those pre uh, before I lift, even though you can, it's not a bad idea, but I don't like to. Uh, to save the energy. So then I'll do uh, what we have is the back attack. It's basically a good morning machine. But you could do the similar thing with a stiff leg deadlift, kettlebell swing, a real good morning. Uh, and I like to use a little bit lighter weights um, and do sets of 10 to 15 and really feel my glutes burn. Sometimes you'll see me touch my booty, uh, touch my booty, and that'll allow me to kind of just feel again that connection, uh, mind muscle connection, whatever you want to call it, but it'll tell me, hey Mike, flex this, flex this, flex this. Building up the glutes. And then a couple of ab exercises. I like uh, hanging leg raises, um, something that's called like the gymnast crunch. You guys can Google that. Uh, it's not a bad movement that I do here and there. And then also the, the, the weighted cable uh, pull down where some say your hip flexors can take over, but if you use the correct weight and correct form, I think you can isolate your, your abdominals pretty good. Uh, in terms of training core, that's always important, but if you're breathing and bracing correct, uh, doing some planks here and there, and then also squat and deadlift. I believe you're training your core enough in my opinion, but many, many people have been successful training heavy abs or light abs in, in different ways, sit-ups, crunches, do side bends or sit-ups, but please don't lose that butt. Hashtag Peach Gang takes us back to the beginning. I believe I invented that. Comment below if you guys think if your team Mike who invented Peach Gang, like the video. Hopefully that guy gives you some tips on how to maybe fix your anterior pelvic tilt. Something simple we can do is move around more during the day instead of sitting at a desk hours and hours. Try to stand up. Standing desks are amazing. Doing some air squats here and there to get that flexibility back in our hips. The couch stretch as well as checking out mobility wad for different things. Uh, activating the glutes, abdominal workout, proper movements and bench and squat and deadlift will always help. Salam Mike. I'm out of here.